Thank you so much, Cindy, for opening your house and your heart, as you do always, to our work, and for coming. But this is the early years, right after Hitler has been appointed um, head of the coalition government before the election that would make him chancellor. Uh, so we, we will talk about it afterwards. I think it will strike many chords in, in many ways, and I will go bring George to do Victor Klemper. Something like three weeks now, the depression of the reactionary government. I am not writing a history of the times here, but I shall nevertheless record my embitterment greater than I would have imagined I was still capable of feeling. It is a disgrace! Which gets worse with every day that passes. Politics everywhere and everywhere, the terror of the right. On Saturday, March 4th, I heard a part of Hitler's speech from Königsberg in front of the hotel at the railway station. Illuminated torchlight procession in front of it, torch bearers, swastika flag bearers on the balconies, loudspeakers. I understood only occasional words, but the tone, the unctuous bawling, truly bawling of a priest. She spoke to me as if to a dying man. She took of her leave of me as if forever. But these few Sympathizing and in despair. They are isolated. And they too are afraid. But the danger is so great and so omnipresent that it makes a fatalist of me. This manuscript is my duty and my last fulfillment. I shall go on writing. I will bear witness. Precise witness. And that is it. <laughs>